Hey there guys, DeAndre A. Terry, and welcome to another episode of Subtract Reactions, where we subtract the bullshit and give you guys honest reactions. So today I'm going to be reacting to the Equal Arts and Two trailer, and let me just say right off the bat, Denzel Washington, Keanu Reeves, y'all both need to come together. John Wick and The Equalizer both came out around the same time. Oh shit, I'm doing the Illuminati! Both movies came out the same year. I don't know if they came out around the same time, but I do know they came out around the same year. Both of those films are very similar to one another, and both of those characters are fucking badass. So I'm just fucking telling you right now, I would be down to see Keanu Reeves and Denzel Washington fucking team up to do some crazy ass fucking shit. That would be fucking kick ass, dude. Oh! It's like one of those movie crossovers I think about all the time, like Mission Impossible and 007. Even if they came together and do a fucking movie, Daniel Craig and fucking Tom Cruise, Jason Bourne, throw him in there too, you know what I mean? John Wick versus Jason Bourne, that shit would be lit. The Equalizer versus James Bond. I'm just saying, I want to see more movie team ups like that more often, man. That would be so fucking cool, dude. Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys, I'm going on fucking tangents. Let's just fucking watch this trailer, guys. Let's get it! They're going to war with me. First time to Turkey? No. Oh my god! Long time ago, different life. Now you come back? Yes. I'm looking for something. You can find whatever you wish in Turkey. Nice. A man who kidnapped a little girl from her American mother. Will not be looking for such a thing. It will be dangerous <laughs> for you. Men like him would think that. Oh shit. Ten seconds? Baby! How did I be only friend? It's great you're helping all these random people and everything. <laughs> Stay off the radar. If something happened to one of ours. So I'm obligated to look into it. Thought you were retired. Oh I am. Just like you're dead. <laughs> Yeah. What's the matter? Uh... They knew what floor she was on. They're tying up loose ends. Exactly. There's a partner for seven years, Mac. It's a mistake to go to war with him. It's go time. They're going to war with me. Ah! It's go time. Oh, yes! Yes! Antoine Fuqua's back! Here with the agency. Family. You ever see Star Trek? Very good. Oh! Oh! They killed my friend. So I'm gonna kill each and every one of you. And the only disappointment is that I only get to do it once. Ooh, come on, get your punish on! Yo, let's get this shit, dude! Seeing you carrying all those books around, I figured you for some kind of teacher. I'm a high level big coming assassin. Ah! <laughs> ah! Damn it! Come on! Ah! God damn, dude! I'm sorry, I'm crying and shit. I love the Equalizer, man. Oh, I love the fucking Equalizer. I love at the end when Denzel Washington tells that guy that he's the assassin and then the dude just starts laughing like, I love that shit, man. I love it whenever characters do that shit because they're telling the truth. They're telling the literal truth. You know what I mean? It's like when Clark walks up to someone and someone's like, damn, man, you're fucking big. And he's just like, yeah, I'm Superman, right? I love that shit because he is. He is Superman. He literally is. You know what I mean? But he's joking around with it and he's like dancing around the topic and he's making you think, oh, there's no way he could be Superman. What's that motherfucker? Is. He is Superman, and that motherfucker is an assassin, okay? Or when Bruce Wayne tells people that he's Batman, and everyone's like, oh, there's no way that you're Batman. But he is Batman. He's fucking Batman. I got Batman on right now. Batman hat, Batman shirt. This trailer is fucking awesome. I'm fucking pumped. I love how it starts off in the train when he has that fucking beard and he's trying to save that little girl. It's like he was wearing a disguise in that moment, and I wonder, are we going to see that? Are we going to see, like, different forms of Denzel Washington in this movie? That's the cool thing about this movie and other movies and TV shows and cartoons. 
cartoons do this shit too, where they give characters facial hair or they give them long hair, they give them just a specific look. And what it really is, is they're giving that character a chance to change their appearance if they need to, you know what I mean? Like, look at Punisher. In the first couple episodes, that motherfucker looks like John Wick, you know what I mean? But then he cuts his hair off, goes bald and shit like that. Now his enemies are looking for someone that doesn't look like him, and he has the upper fucking hand, you know what I mean? So I love it when characters do that shit. I'm obligated to say I love the music in this trailer, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick's my boy! By the way, the track, How Much a Dollar Costs on this album specifically, is fucking fire. Anyone that's listened to this shit, they know what I'm fucking talking about. I'm also glad to see Antoine Fuqua has returned. He did the first film. He also did Olympus Has Fallen. Jesus Christ. Sorry, something just fell. He did Training Day. He's done a lot of good movies. Magnificent Seven, that's another good movie he did. And I love how right of a range Antoine Fuqua's directing career is, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, most of his movies, if not all of them, do have a form of action in there. But it's like he has all of these different genres covered and shit like that. He even did a boxing movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. What's that movie called, Southpaw? But his repertoire is very large, you know what I mean? And he's worked with a lot of successful people, and Denzel Washington is one of them. So anytime they make a movie together, I'm fucking down. I'm fucking down. Immediately, day one, I will fucking see that shit. So, hashtag day one, hashtag eco mob. But yeah, I love the story so far as well, giving him a reason to come back out of the shadows, you know what I mean? He's taking revenge on the people that killed his friend. Granted, you also have to remember that these people do work in dangerous-ass lines of work, you know what I mean? Like, Denzel Washington is an assassin, and his friend was like some sort of high up in the government command fucking job or some shit like that. I can't remember what specific government branch she was in, but... Yeah, they're, they're working some dangerous ass jobs. But it's like John Wick, you know what I mean? Because they need a reason for them to come back out of the shadows. But the reason for them coming back out of the shadows is so simple. But within that simplicity, you can definitely understand why they're doing the things that they're doing. The character lost something that was very near and dear to their heart, you know what I mean? So basically what it is, is we as the audience, we need to be able to have justification for all the action and all the violence that Denzel Washington is dishing out on the screen. And we do get that. We do feel that with this trailer. I feel like at least, you know what I mean? If you don't feel that shit, I'm fucking sorry. I like the remix music in this fucking trailer too with Denzel Washington in the background and shit like that. I would love to see him drop some fire on a Kendrick Lamar beat. That shit would be fucking dope. The cinematography in this shit was nice, you know what I mean? Everything about this trailer was fucking sweet. So it was very fucking nifty. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait for this shit. But as always, guys, if you like my reaction, be sure to like and share this video for me. And if you're going to do that, how about you leave a comment? Tell me what you're reacting in the future. And if you're going to do it, then how about you hit the subscribe button and join the family. I'll talk to you guys later. This trailer was fucking awesome. And, uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Peace!